Hey guys, today I want to talk to you about The Tortoise and the Hare by Elizabeth Jenkins. The Tortoise and the Hare was originally published in 1954. My Virago paperback edition was published in 2012. For those of you unfamiliar, The Tortoise and the Hare follows the story of a middle-aged barrister, Evelyn, his younger wife Imogen, and their neighbour Blanche. The story is essentially a study of upper middle class manners in relation to a declining marriage. Evelyn and Imogen have been married for quite some time. They have an 11 year old son, Gavin, and it would appear that throughout the course of their marriage, Evelyn has lost what small respect he may have originally had for Imogen. Imogen is still relatively young, she is beautiful, she is well dressed, she is well mannered, but in Evelyn's head she is silly and frivolous. He doesn't really care for her opinions and they don't like to do the same things. I personally do not find Imogen a silly character, I think she is an artistic type. I think that while politics may not be her main point of interest, she sees the beauty in life and that she's always willing to give things a closer look. Unfortunately for Imogen, their neighbour Blanche Silcox, who is middle-aged, plump, not that attractive, has a lot of the same sensibilities as in Evelyn and the two get along famously. Blanche is extremely practical, she likes what would be considered manly pursuits such as hunting and fishing and driving and essentially she's willing to do whatever she can to make Evelyn's very busy life a little bit more manageable which of course is a woman's place in the world. So throughout the book we see Imogen start to realize what's going on in her marriage. She's starting to realize how unhappy everyone is and what is going on behind her back not too discreetly, might I add. Um, Evelyn is not really trying to hide matters. Uh, he is not ashamed of it and he essentially thinks that it is his right to hold a extramarital affair since Imogen is no longer, if she ever did, meeting his need. I thoroughly enjoyed this book. It's a very, it's what I would describe as a quiet book. It's rather slow paced, it's rather introspective, but it's just beautiful. It's a character study of sorts. Um, it's very much about relationships of all kinds, both those between a man and a woman and between family members, a mother and son and a father and son. If you're looking for a super fast paced, um, highly dramatic action type book, then don't even bother. But for me, this was just such a lovely way to spend time. It was heartbreaking, but in such a quiet way. Elizabeth Jenkins' prose is really beautiful. There was sentences that I just wanted to reread. I kept stopping and going back and it took me longer to read this than it should have, just because I kept getting so caught up in the language and in the places that this book took me. Uh, don't get me wrong, this isn't the most complex thing out there. It's pretty simple, the writing is uh, pretty straightforward, but it really is just, it's elegant. I think that's probably the best way to describe it. It's just so softly and beautifully written and the story itself is really engaging and just worth reading. Virago has once again opened my eyes to a book that I probably never would have read otherwise and I'm just, I'm so glad that I did. So that's it guys, I don't know how coherent I was, I just really wanted to recommend this. It's definitely worth checking out. I would love if you guys could recommend any other Virago books to me that I may not be aware of because they have such a gorgeous extensive back catalogue that I don't really know where to go next. I have several unread sitting on my shelf so I'm not in the biggest hurry but I always like adding new things to my TBR so feel free to recommend. I hope you guys enjoyed this, thank you all for watching and I will see you soon!